In 1955, Citroën made their first DS model, which was a technological marvel. It had swiveling headlights, it was the first car in the world to have serial disc brakes, and perhaps most importantly, it had a hydro suspension, which made the car very comfortable, especially on the poor French roads of the time. Now, Germans had a very different idea, a much more sporty idea. However, today, the French have a bit of the same idea as well. Here is the new Citroën DS3, actually a complete opposite of the floaty boat from so long ago. A small, sporty car with a different, modern and bold look. DS3 likes cornering in serpentines, but it doesn't shy away from cities either. Outside there are aerodynamic curves, perhaps leaning towards aggressiveness. You won't find the hydro suspension in the modern DS3, because as we said, it's a lot more sporty. The steering wheel is a lot stiffer. The um, suspension is very stiff, which means that you can have a bit of fun in corners and not crash immediately. A big front mask with the LED signature and animated blinkers. I don't know what the uh, designers were thinking when uh, they made the armrest though, or its position. Because when you want to use the emergency brake, you have two options, either always put the armrest back and then use the emergency brake or have it down and reach around like so like so or like so what were they thinking yes the seats are leather and comfortable the interior is fairly sturdy but the center console is up to individual taste. We didn't like its overcrowded nature with different elements and shapes, especially the radio. It's as if the designers argued until an arbiter agreed to use one element of each person. are a very beautiful nation. Their women are always very nicely dressed, just like this car. They also always use expensive perfumes, just like the car. However, the French aren't perfectionists like the Germans. If you know what I mean. But don't misunderstand us. The Citroen DS3 is a comfortable, likeable car that can be a lot of fun in the corners. It won't eat your wallet in cities, as the engine is quite careful when sipping fuel. The base model costs 15,000 euros, while the top one with everything comes down to 26,000 and a half. Just don't take the optional armrest.